Well, now we're about to complete the last and final verse of the 23rd Psalm for the week. Psalm 23 and 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What does it mean that goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life? Well, if we look back in the context of Scripture, that means within what the rest of the Scriptures have said, we're finding out that it's not really talking about anything natural. It's actually talking about things supernatural. So a supernatural goodness and mercy is honestly God's way of correcting us when we sin. Now remember the little lost sheep who strays from the fold. His rod and his staff comfort him. That staff would gently grab the sheep by the crook and bring the sheep back into the fold. Okay, now that's the rod and the staff that's comforting. Remember the rod beats off the enemies. It also breaks the leg of the sheep so that the sheep can heal. So the rod and the staff are very important important in verse 6 because goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. That means no matter where you go, no matter what you've done, God will continually love you and show you mercy, grace, unmerited favor with God, things that you don't deserve. That means every time that you make a mistake, the gentle loving arm of God is gently grabbing you, correcting you, bringing you back to him. Oh, praise God that he loves you that much. He loves you, 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 whoever's watching this video, he loves you that much that his mercy and grace is unending and he would go and grab you a, a million times if he had to because he loves you. And that mercy and that grace is going to follow you all the days of your life. Now, Paul said, what then should I continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God's not expecting us to continually live our lives in sin. He's expecting us to get better. He's going to pull us out of those things and he's going to show us where the green pastures are at, where we can feast and it's safe. He's going to take us away from the poisonous herbs of the of sin and he's going to pull us into green pastures. He's going to lead us beside some still water so that the brook isn't so fast that it wipes us away. He's going to lead us beside some still waters where it's calm where we can get a refreshing drink from God. He's going to lead us in the paths of his righteousness for his name's sake. He's going to do all of that through his goodness and mercy. And then when this whole life is all over and the battle is won and you lay your head down for that final farewell and they gather around your casket and then they take you down to the grave to grieve. When that all happens, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And then when you die, you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Not just in church, in heaven with Jesus Christ for all of eternity. When you finally lay everything down, all all of the goodness and mercy that God has, has been correcting us, has been beating our body, keeping it under subjection. All of that work will pay off as an effort of eternal life in Jesus Christ. So we know that today, goodness and mercy will follow us. God's tender hand of mercy will never let us stray too far away, but what he won't pull us back in with his rod and his staff. He wants to comfort us today. He wants to be there for us so that all eternity... He could be with us. See, the whole Bible is nothing but a love story, my friend. From the fall in the Garden of Eden in Genesis until the end in, book of, the, end in the book of the Revelation, that's what it's all been about. It's been about bringing fallen man back to a creator and allowing him to forgive us, wash our sins away. I had no idea until I got much older that Psalm 23 was really a prophetic book about Jesus Christ. Honestly, I just thought that it was a, a funeral psalm and it's so much more. It is a psalm for our daily living. It's how we should live our life, that Jesus Christ is that good shepherd who would lay down his life for the sheep, who would go out into the fold and bring us back to those green pastures and give us a place to, to stay, a place where the still waters would be able to be a refreshing drink and not wash our sheep away, but yet rather guard us, protect over us until the day that we finally are reconciled with him for all of eternity. My friend, I can't think of a better place to be than with Jesus Christ for all of eternity. The one who loved us, who gave his life for us, who has shown us tender mercies, and who is always bringing us back into his fold. That's the mercy and grace of God. 
And that's how much that he truly loves you. I hope you've enjoyed the 23rd Psalm as much as I have enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something through this. And I hope you found a little closer relationship with God as a result. May God bless you and keep you, my friends. And you remember, Jesus is coming soon. So keep your eyes on the skies.